184, copy. Code 3, ETA 3 minutes. Copy, 184. Hey guys, thanks for watching my review. First, I'm going to say that this game is really fun. Um, not so much scary, if you've seen those commercials where they're showing people freaking out. Um, not really there. It is creepy, it is violent, it is gory. There are a few pop-up scares here and there. However, I haven't beaten the game yet, so I can't tell you if the story is even worth playing this game. But... Overall, I can't talk about this game without mentioning Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 5. Um, never played 6 because it didn't look too good to me. But this has everything that you would expect from a Resident Evil game without it being a Resident Evil game. Expose everything. Hey, what are you doing? Hey guys, now I'm going to talk about gameplay and controls. First off, I'm going to talk about the control scheme. It's really good, actually, in my opinion, almost perfect for a third person shooter. It's the evolution of what we expect for this genre. The only other game that I'd say came this close was the Dead Space series. However, there are a few gripes that I had from before, if you watched my last video, pertaining to the widescreen layout of the camera. After a couple of hours of playing with this camera style, I actually got used to it. At first I was really annoyed because, you know, you're running around, you can't really see what's going on, and you usually get killed a lot by things you don't know are there. But when you're actually aiming and moving around, it helps a lot because it keeps your action focused in the center of the screen. Another thing I'd like to mention real quick is the stealth mechanics. I think they're really well done, and that's a lot coming from someone who actually likes stealth games. I play Metal Gear, I play Thief, so it's not on par with those, but I will say it is well done for a survival horror game. Another thing I'd like to mention for those who've never tried the survival horror genre, you can't just run around and shoot everything you see because ammo is very limited and at the difficulty I'm playing at, which I believe is the normal difficulty, enemies are pretty damn hard to kill. Now, don't think that's a drawback. It actually creates more intense situations throughout the game, which in my opinion makes it more fun. Even though it can get a little stressful at times, the fact that you know that you're going to have to conserve your ammo for a bigger enemy or sometimes you don't even know what the hell's gonna happen and you just want to have some ammo it actually gives the game a little bit more depth now I'm gonna talk really quickly about the graphics they're really well done they can be very detailed but at times you'll get texture pop in and sometimes you could notice the animations are a little wonky but overall they look really good and the fact that they added a film grain option makes it even better in my opinion it adds a retro creepy vibe to the game the last gameplay element I'm gonna talk about is the RPG element they added to this game during your gameplay you'll kill enemies and they'll drop this green goop stuff I don't know what they call it but it's in a way like a currency and whenever you get a chance to go save there's this little section where you can go and upgrade certain abilities and traits and you can upgrade your weapons and the carrying capacity of things overall I think it's done really well it's kind of bare bones but in the long run it actually brings more out in this game Alright guys, the last thing I'm going to talk about is the fear factor for The Evil Within. First off, I'm going to say this game did not scare me at all. There were a few jump scares, I'll admit, but overall, it's not a scary game. It is violent, it is gory, and it is fun. And I highly recommend it to anyone who enjoys the survival horror genre. Thanks for watching. <laughs>